for All it. All right. Um, we have a, a couple of people who want to say something. Uh, yeah, uh, that's Jerry, Jerry Hannon. Now, you uh, kind of are involved in an ongoing battle with yeah, uh, it Frank. It must be one-sided. I don't know anything about yeah, it. Yeah, well, I mean, yes, you, you wrote, you wrote you a book You know everything called... about it, Frank. You have been peddling lies about Limerick for the last two and a half years. In every television station, in every newspaper, you have told lies about Limerick, about your mother, about Theresa Carmody, about Willie Harold. You have done nothing but lied. You are a liar. You are a self-confessed liar. Theresa Carmody was three days away from her death when you wrote in your book that you had sexual intercourse with her. You never mentioned anywhere in your book that it was with her consent. Was it with her consent, Frank? Frank? Was it with her consent? There was no Theresa Carmody. It's a made-up name. It's not a made-up name. You named her mother. You're going to tell more lies now, are you? There was no Okay, that's number one. Theresa Carmody. No just a minute, we're not finished. Theresa Carmody. Theresa Carmody. Theresa Carmody is a made up name. It is not a made up name. The young lady, you will never you know her name. You are a liar. You are a liar. Number two, Frank McCourt. Why are you, you so obsessed with me? Because, Frank, Jesus Christ up in heaven. How old are you, by you, the way? You hammered, How old are you? It's How old are irrelevant. You? you hammered your mother. You, you, you picked her as a lazy, What I did is so you could be good virtuous. Good for nothing whore. That's what you depicted your mother as. You owe your mother an apology. Theresa Carmody's parents, Theresa Carmody's family at yeah. least, are looking into okay. this program tonight Jerry, to owe her I, an apology. Just, and number sorry, I, I, drove from Limerick. No, I, I drove from Limerick tonight to make three points. Okay. And I want to make, make them. the third. You've censored me before, Pat. You're not censoring me again. <laughs> When did I censor Number you, three, by the way? you censored me, you interviewed me, you gave me a 20 minute interview, and without explanation, you chopped it on your radio program. We often chop. Uh, ah, pieces that's for crap. Length. Absolutely. Number three, number three, number practice. three, Frank. Why, if this miserable childhood that you had in Limerick, this so called miserable childhood, that you've, 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 you've peddled your lies all over the world, right? Miserable lanes of Limerick, miserable childhood, miserable people of Limerick, misery, 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 the whole flipping way. If that's the case, why did you not discuss your well paid employment with Jackie Brosnan? <laughs> why did you not discuss your years with St. Joseph's Spy Scout movement? You never discussed it. Okay. But the same reason St. Joseph's Spy Scout was the elite Spy Scout right. movement. You've had enough memory. time yeah. now. Yeah. Elite Hang on, Jerry, 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 can I just you ask you? You are a liar. Okay, you've made your point. You're a liar. Jerry, can I ask you one question? And I think it's the reason Frank was asking how old you were, is that he's writing of a time from before you were born. Frank, you're a, or a Pat. You're I mean, it's not so. You're a journalist. You've heard of research. I have interviewed over 70 people that are contemporaries of Frank McCourt. I interviewed Myra Gallagher. She describes Angela McCourt as the angel of the lanes. C can Angela I also suggest you that the late Jim Kemmy thought that Frank's uh, book Jim was Kenny an accurate his... description of the way things were Jim in Kemi. the Limerick of their mutual youth. Jim Kemmy, with all due respect to him, was a very close friend of Frank McCoy. No, he so wasn't. I, was I didn't meet yes, him he was. just before he died. He was. Frank, I met him just before he died. I can't believe a so word out you're of your mouth. You're a liar. I met him just before believe. he died. I can't believe a word I didn't out of your mouth. Jim Kemmy. Jim Kemmy. You're a liar. Um, I'm not sure who the audience are applauding, by the way. Yeah. But I, I must let Frank get back in from the charges to respond to the charges you've yeah. made. There were, the name Theresa Carmody was one I made up because I was not going to name Did the you actual make person. Up the name of the girl in Bavaria. You seem to have a morbid fascination for necrophilia. I do. I like women. For necrophilia. If you don't mind, I like women. Necrophilia. Women. I love women. I'm mad about women. I've been married three times. And it's the one I'm married to now is going to last forever women. because I'm infatuated with women. Women and to who protect are three my own away wife, from I their make death. up a false name. I don't know why you're so obsessed with me. Don't you have a life? Women. Go ahead and live. Do something. Women. Go ahead. Find a cause. There are, there are, there are, there are poor people in Limerick. Go and help the poor of Limerick. Don't obsess with me all the time. You're there, you're in a city in Ireland, are, south of Ireland, the and you're women obsessed you, with me, and I'm sure the two, there are a few people the in two the, women When they cast, sent out casting calls the two, for the movie in Limerick, 
Hundreds of people showed up, then they brought their children to be an why angel's did you lie about Willie And Harrell? if they hated, if they why hated the book and the Willie movie, Harrell? why, why were they did auditioning you lie for this about terrible movie? Willie Harrell. Can, 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 you said Willie Harrell. Jerry, Jerry, you Jerry, said Jerry, Willie Harrell. I, 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 you I, said I, I, Willie Harrell. I want to go down here. Because, you said, because uh, there's one thing I want to ask you. This and man it's, said, it's, hang on, it's the question. Said, it's the I question. Made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Most people watching this he have no it. idea of the people you're talking about because it's fine okay. detail about Limerick. You've made your point that you think it's very inaccurate. But what it's I'd nice. really like to know is why, why you are so obsessed. I mean, the latest book is called Tis. You're bringing out a book called Tisn't. It's called Tis in My Ass. Okay, I, I wasn't given the full title. But okay, Tis in My Ass. I, I thought it was going to be called Tisn't. <laughs> this current book is about America. It's about his experiences in America. Yeah, now, he's, what, what he are you writing? He spends his time in, in, in America reminiscing about yeah, his miserable days back this in is miserable all, how, Limerick. What do you know about his life in, in America that you're going Zero. to contradict everything? Zero. So why oh. are you writing another book? But who says my book is contradicting? It isn't well, Ashes published was yet. Con your last book, Ashes, was contradicting <laughs> Angela. Ashes Ashes was another side of the story. It was about the people who were happy, who lived on the lands of Limerick, my relatives. Okay. Okay, who were happy. They had a happy childhood. Yeah. Yes, we have a... Sure. The Jerry Hannon didn't even write the book Ashes. <laughs> it was written by a fellow by the name of Frank Hamilton. Is that so, Jerry? That is a total and absolute lie. <laughs> Jerry... That is a lie. I'd like to that see is you a lie. that. That is a and lie. And Frank Hamilton is in prison at the moment that for sex crimes. So that is a lie. That's, that is how credible is Jerry Hannon is. Is that the best? Is that the best you can come up with? <laughs> All right. Is that the best you can? Okay. Come up You're with? pathetic. This, this is Jerry. very much a um, you can come up with. very much a limerick <laughs> rav. It's a squabble. It's a squabble, and we're yeah. going to uh, move on because we have to meet other people.